Hi everyone, it's Vicky here from Crafty Heaven and thank you very much for joining me today. And today I'm going to be showing you how I made this cute 13th birthday card. And I couldn't decide what to call this for, you know, in the title of my video. But um, it's a variety of different style things really. We've got the book style card and then we've got the pinwheel on the front. So I could, you know, we're coordinating them both together and I think it looks absolutely adorable. So I'll show you that in just a second. So to make it, I use the Simply Made Crafts, a special die and stamp set by Helen Griffin. And as you can see, we've got these gorgeous variety of different sentiments here. And then we've got these lovely stamps there. And then we've got the number dies to go with this set. So I'll just show you the stamp set and a couple of the dies so you can see what they look like so that's what the stamps look like really big sentiments as well and then the dies are really big number dies so let's see if I can get it the right way so that's the size of the number dies really big and then we also get the die with the um the added bit to the numbers let me think uh 13th third second and I so on i also used the bee garden paper pack by simply make crafts and this is a beautiful paper pad absolutely love this so in this collection for my design team I was asked to make a child's birthday card using the number dies and this is what I made so like I said it's a book style card and then we've got the pinwheel on the front here with the gorgeous 13th number dies cut out on the front there and then I just added a bow and a sequin there and then on the inside I stamped the birthday sentiment so I've left it quite you know simple to decorate I didn't want to overdo it so I just thought that looked really pretty so I've cut all my supplies ready just to save time Start off with our coloured cardstock and the first piece is going to be for our card base so this piece measures four and a quarter by 11. Then you're going to get two pieces of your colored cardstock. These measure two and five eighths by two and five eighths. And this is what's going to start off making your pinwheel. Then we're going to come to the pattern paper that's going to be layered on top of your card base. So you will need a piece that measures four by four and then another piece that measures one by four. And that's these two sections here. Then you're going to need a piece of white cardstock that measures three inches by three inches. And that's what's going to go on the back here of your pinwheel and then you're going to need eight pieces of patterned paper and I've got two different designs here so I've got four of that one and four of that one but all together all eight pieces they need to be cut at one and a quarter by one and a quarter and then you'll need a bit for the middle here now this bit is optional if you're wanting to put a picture in front of that then you don't need to do this step but because I've um, got a gap here in the middle you can see the slight gap in the pinwheel and I didn't want to see that so I've covered that up so this bit is optional if you wanted to do this this piece measures one inch by one inch and then for inside your card you'll need piece of white cardstock that measures four inches by four inches okay and then we'll need to die cut out our numbers so now we're going to start assembling this card together so we're going to score our card base 
and along the 11 inch side we're going to score it at five and a half so I'm just going to tick mine because the five and a half is where this scoreboard folds over and it always jumps the track so I'm just going to tick mark that at five and a half and I'm just going to move it over and just line it up in another groove here just so I can score it better okay so you would score it at five and a half and six and three quarters and that's all the scoring done so now we're going to fold on those score lines I'm just going to crease it with my bone folder so we scored it at five and a half and six and three quarters okay what i've done is i've just basically turned it round so the six and three quarter inch side is at the front of your card and that is the score line that you're going to fold back on itself okay so now what we need to do is we need to glue this section down to this side so I'm just going to grab my liquid glue and stick that down. Now we're going to get our pattern paper and this one is going to go here and then this one will go here. And as you can see, I've left a border around each piece of paper just so it looks more prettier and I really like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these down with my liquid glue as well. So there we go, so that's what it's looking like so far. And now we're gonna to come to making our pinwheel. So we're gonna get our two pieces of card that measures two and five eighths by two and five eighths, and we're gonna have one where it's the square and the other one, we're going to lay it over at the top, but turn the square into a diamond shape. And they're going to lay on top of each other like that. So we need to put a bit of glue on the back of this one. And lay that on top. Our pieces I'm of eight patterned papers. And we need to add glue just in one of the top corners and you only need to add a little bit so i'll do the first few with you and then i'll fast forward it and then i'll show you how to add the last one so as you can see i've just added a bit of glue in that corner and we're gonna layer it on top of this one and i'm going to leave a slight border around the edge so then the paper will stand out So you can see we've added the glue here, but we've got this open space there. We're going to look at our next one, and I'm using the different pattern paper. Again, add glue on the top corner here, and we're going to stick that one over the top there. Next piece, again, add glue on the top corner, lay that one here and get your next one lay that one on top of there and you keep going all the way to the last one and then when i get to the last one i will come back and show you This is what it looks like and we've got our last piece so this one will need to tuck under this one here and lay over the top of this one so I'm going to slide it underneath this one here get it in position like so okay and 
we'd need to glue that down so you can see we've tucked it under this one here and laid this side over the top of that one so hopefully that makes sense so then I'll just glue this one down and there we go so that is your pinwheel ready so the other one I did it had a slight gap here I've managed to get this all a bit closer together so but I, I don't want to see the middle section so we're going to get a one inch by one inch piece and we're going to lay that over the top we're going to add some liquid glue onto the back of this piece and stick that down there we'll stick this piece onto this one and this is the one that measures three inches by three inches and we're going to glue it on like that okay so again I'm going to add glue to the back of this piece lay that on top of there making sure that I've got a border that's equal all the way around and press that down and then we're going to attach this one to our card base so place that into the middle and before we attach our numbers I want to place my white piece of card and I've stamped the birthday sentiment already on there so again I'm going to glue this piece down there we go so now we just need to add a few finishing touches so we need to add our 13 on here like so so I'm going to go ahead and do that and there we go okay and then just to finish it off i've got some of this metallic thread and i've just wrapped that around my fingers a few times to make a bow and i'm going to hot glue that in the corner just there and then i've got these sequins these gold sequins that i got from the range and i'm going to add one on top of there so i'm going to glue them down and there we go how cute is that and really simple and easy to make so here is the original one so as you can see this one's got more of the patterned design in the background whereas this one hasn't and i think they're just both as beautiful so there we go guys i really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial using the a special day die and stamp set from simply made crafts as always links in the video description bar and uh, till next time guys take care and we'll see you soon bye mm -hmm.